Welcome back, Hunters. I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to our final episode of Tick Moon Plains for Way of the Hunter. It is only episode 22. I got a little mistaken with the episode numbers last episode, but we're just going to go for a little bit more free hunting. I'll have a little bit of like a wrap-up session and that for uh, the series uh, probably like the later half of today. Oh, I'm not sure what's going on with the frame rate on that guy for a moment. Oh, you know what? Last episode was a bit of a farce trying to go after some of the honey badgers with the bow. I might try for just this one up here if we can. Just because he is in very obvious... Like, if we can pull him towards us, it'll be very easy spotting him and trying to get him, I'd imagine. Oh, yeah, here he comes. If you've ever watched the or seen the video of the bow hunter who, like, gets a... Hits the pheasant with one arrow, but the pheasant keeps running around. He's trying to go after it. He basically winds up just throwing the entire compound bow at it to take it. That's basically how we were with the honey badgers last episode. I don't know if it's that because there's, like, the zooming effect that the optics have, it's harder to line up where, like, your sighting is for it. Well, like, we'll see if this guy gives me a good chance to try with the bow here. Okay, yeah, you're right there. See, the bow... Ah, the red dot completely covers him, so it's hard to see how we're aiming. And then you do have, like, the weird aim assists. It's not even, like, right on top of him. So I'll see Bo giving him a little bit more time, and hopefully he'll stop for a moment. Probably my best one yet, and I'm trying to show off my problem with him, but yeah. With how small he is... Unless they're super close, like within 30 meters, it can be hard to see where the sight is on him. And then having that little aim dot too. I still feel like instead of having like the hard sights in the game, if you're going to have that aim assist, just have... Or oh, would that screw it up? Ah, maybe it's just something I need to play the game more. Get more used to, because this is another one of the series where I don't play it outside of the videos I do. Although that'll probably be changing as we're, like, moving away from this series for the year until we get some more DLC. Which, yeah, it's probably my best honey badger shot yet. Okay, well, we'll sell that for the little bit he is. Hop back in the vehicle and go off from here. See what else we can get. But, yeah, I know I need a lot more practice and experience with the bow. I still feel like with the three-pin sight that the bow has, actually, thanks to the vehicle here, we can pull that out. The pins feel a little too cluttered together. Like, let me just quickly... Yeah, we'll equip that. Uh, let's see. I think with the aim assist, it kind of gets a little more cluttered on, like, which one you're trying to use for it. But maybe we'll take it out. See how it... Well, I'm not trying to aim at the vehicle, I just want to hop in. Uh-oh. Oh, did I bug this out pretty good somehow? Uh, I think I might have, because that's not going away. Okay, there we go. I think I fixed it. I'm just trying to remember what the pin sight... Oh, wait, I have to do this, and then it... Yeah, there we go. 25, 55, and 75. Okay, so if you look at your vehicle when aiming... It seems like that causes, like, the little blurb to come up and block your view. But we'll try to go for something bigger. Because the honey badgers are so small, it can be hard to keep sight of them through the optic. Although, I... Actually, one thing I should check and see is what happens if you don't have an optic equipped to the bow? Oh. Actually, we might have an interesting species right ahead of us we can do a little bit of testing with. I think they're Gemsbok or Greater Kudu. I mean, I can't tell... Oh, no, they're Blue Wildebeest. Although there is a two-star mature male in there. But yeah, I... when we come back to the vehicle, I might actually have to see what happens if we take that off. Like, because that would mean the bow has zero sights. So I don't know how you... I have to imagine it's kind of just like using the iron sights of a rifle. 
Yeah, it might be interesting to just take a look at and see how it plays out. Okay. How far off are they? Okay, you know what? I think I can probably at least walk to this hill and then hunker down and see. Oh. Okay, no, I think everybody's still calm. It's just like the zoomies they get. I think the wildebeests are the only one I've really seen have that where all of a sudden they just like do this little jog or sprint or trot. Yeah, see, there goes one right now. Okay, so that's who we're after right there. Yeah, so let's remember coloration. So he's pretty... He looks very similar to the other mature one there. So I think as they get older, that uh, the bright brown seems to go more to a gray. Uh, but the issue is I have to try to keep up with the herd. As there's going to be that thing where they'll uh, probably leash back to it if we bring them too far away. I say that, although this mature one is coming along. Although that's the one that we actually want to bring out. Uh, we'll go slow and see what we can do here. Although, truth be told, I think they might have been alerted to me. Yeah. I'm just going to go low. Try not to put any more pressure on them and see. He'll probably do a trot and go quickly back with the others. Because the wind is in our favor, so we don't have to worry about that giving us away. Ooh. Yeah, okay, he's calmed back down. Everybody else here is looking... Oh! Okay, they're alerted again. But they're still on the move. So I think they might be going... Ah, there's the watering hole they might be going for. No. I don't know where they're going off to that they're... Yeah, they're only alerted, so they're not spooked. Okay, I'm going to work us back to the vehicle and just see... I'll keep following the road. I'm not exactly sure where they're going, but I don't think I'd be able to keep... A really good watch of them with them cresting that hill. Again, when you're using the bow and arrow, callers are basically essential for it. Unless you find animals already in a need zone where they're not mobile or not really traveling that much. You're going to have to often be very careful with how you're working. A lot more thinking involved, which as goes to show with the series, I'm not the best at. But we'll hop back in this, keep going for a bit of a drive and see where we get to. Oh, I guess it's just ambience. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe that's... Is that really as far as they were going? Like, there are some looking my way. Uh, hmm. You know, I might just leave them be for us to keep driving for a little bit more. Nope. Oh. Got... got somebody out there. Oh, just a lone little warthog. Yeah, again, I'm not sure what I want to go for. We've gotten quite a few wildebeest, so I'm not too fussed about, like, trying to work that uh, herd hard that we saw. I don't think there are any animals that we haven't really gotten that many of. Uh, it might even just be the case, I'll just drive, see what species we can, or, yeah, what species, what birds, what prides, etc. Is there somebody up on that one, or is that just, no, that's just a plant. 
Just see what I can see is like an overview of the area. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, come on, crouch down. I guess I was stuck on the lip of the vehicle. Oh, did they run? There was a group... Yeah, they ran. Shoot. There was a hyena group right there that I could have tried getting another mature female. In fact, maybe I will. Uh, let me just quickly check that encyclopedia. Uh, right, tier 5? Yeah, tier 5. Okay. Again, just being able to sort the animals by what map you're on will be very helpful for that. Might as well go for that. And what does it look like to use the bow with no optic? Oh yeah, you got... Weirdly enough, though, you actually could go full iron sight because the little aim assist you get. And yeah, you can increase your zero too. Huh. I might try to remember that. Because that might be... Uh, actually helpful for me. As weird as it is to say, I might be better without an optic than with one. Yeah, let me just drive along here a bit more. No, I think the hyena pack... Uh, you know what? There is this road here. I'll see about trying to go up this hill a bit. Try to give a little bit of distance for... Yeah, there's that pack. Okay, we're looking for a mature female in there. Uh, there is a mature male. Uh, again, it's a little hard to... Uh, ...separate which ones I'm actually looking at. Oh, there is a mature female somewhere in there. I think it's actually her there. Okay, she's out... I think around 300 would be where I want to... See, again, the coloration, I... Does the coloration mean it's predicted it will hit that animal I'm looking at, or not? And again, it's... Yeah, I've got a lot of things I could put on, like, a wish list for what I'd like to see changed when it comes to, uh... Some things for how Wave the Hunter does work. Like, one of them with this being right now... Oh, okay, I think that's her. Yeah, visibly we can at least see she's wounded. I don't know if she'll go down from that. If that was a good enough place shot or not. But when it does come to the animals, you... Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll go down, because the blood trail was still going over there. At least I thought she would. One of the things is that... It's not very realistic, but I think from a gameplay stance, it might be worth it that if you do wound an animal, there's more visual indication that, like, those are the specific ones you have wounded. Because, like, again, with this series, how I've been doing, there have been a number of animals that I've only gotten glancing blows or nothing that's been vital shots. I don't want to drive right to the herd. I just want to try to drive towards where we hit her. Just wait a moment and see if I can... ...spot any blood trails left behind so I know how serious that wound is. Or even just see if I can spot her from here. Uh, she might have gone down right where we marked. 
Eh, we'll just drive over and see. But yeah, a little more visual indication so you know which animals are wounded when they're in a full group. A better way of zooming in with the optics. I think every optic in the game doesn't actually have a zoom to it. It is a fixed, only certain magnification. And, I mean, another thing is that you do not need three optics in this game. Truth be told. Yeah, like, I have no way to zoom in and out. This is just hard fixed at its one. I'll just take a quick look at the others. Yeah, see magnification ten times or eight times. Oh. Oh, actually, I should be using these. Because these apparently have better zoom to them. Let's see, adult female, young, adult. I don't think that mature one that we did wound is in with them. I should have actually left down tracking markers rather than the uh, big marker we had used. So you know what? We're going to scare everybody off, but I think we should find... Yeah, she is down. Just send everybody off running. Actually, a large... larger pack than I thought it was. Here she is, though. Oh, actually, if it was further back, it would have been better, but we still just managed to get a vital hit from her there. So yeah, five star, sell that off, and that completed the little mission there. So at least we did say we got something accomplished today. But yeah, when we head back to the lodge, actually... Oh yeah, we're nowhere near that uh, fast travel point. Maybe we'll just drive for that and I'll talk for a while. Just because that might... Oh! Oh, my nemeses. Oh, another two-star mature. Actually, this might be an interesting chance to... Uh, see, I don't know where... That two-star mature male went to. So I was going to say, maybe I should try him without the uh, optics at all on the bow. Yeah, if I was to try to these, get these guys, I probably want to go up over here and work back towards them. I keep getting distracted by it. all kinds of stuff, but that's, like, again, par for the course here. Okay, hop out, take a look. Yeah, that's a one-star young male, that's mature female. There's our two-star mature. I gotta use a lot more of the tools that I'm presented to, like... I can understand why they have, like, the, uh... Certain things are you have to hold the keys down. This way the hunter was a simultaneous PC and console release. So I could see that as being a reason why they have certain commands being you have to hold it down for it. Because again, controller, you don't have as much key binds you can input or that. It's actually something I should do is be a little bit more uh, customizing when it comes to uh, my keybinds and that. Just make it so that way I'm not running into the issues of forgetting so much. Okay, let me see if I can call him in. I don't know if they're working back to, like, a specific need zone, or they're just kind of trotting around to get back to their places before I scare them so much. That's mature female. I lost sight of that mature male as he went up over this way. Oh. No, that's adult female. There he is. And he's actually happily come this way. Oh, 
He's also got another one with him. See, my problem is they come in so quick and they don't really, like, stop and stare at you a moment as they're, like, trying to figure out, what are you? Are you... Did that actually get him? Holy crap, that actually did. Yeah, screw the optics, maybe that's my problem. I need to go full instinct with the bow. Because that actually was pretty good. Now, it did go right through the face, unfortunately, for him. But, did get all the vitals, which is what we were after. So you know what? I'm going to taxidermy you instead, because you were actually what I got with the weapon I wanted to use. But yeah, you know what? I think that's a good time there. We'll spend the rest with a little bit of a talk for Way the Hunter, since, again, we will be bringing the series to a little hiatus after this. I know there's the quality of life stuff, and I'll put that roadmap in probably around here as I'm talking, so that way you guys see everything I'm going over. But yeah, quality of life improvements I'd like to see for Wave the Hunter. I know the game can't really have too much of an active tracking system because of more than likely how many things you'd have to have the computer trying to process at once. Like, we saw the huge lag spike that happened with the Cape Buffalo herds that we were trying to get the one of that one episode where they, like, stampeded almost. So I can't imagine you can have too much active tracking for, like, a lot of species. But I do feel like there should be a way, if you focus on the tracks of a specific animal, it only tracks that one animal you've selected. So that way, if you do have something where, again, you wounded an animal, you have an easier time being able to try to... Okay, where can I put the... Oh, you know what? It's probably from these little ones here, would be my guess. Let's take a look and see. No, those are birds. Not there. This one? No. Huh. Yeah, where can I... It's not this one, right? No, not here. I'm trying to think of where I can... It's not, like, here it... Okay, well, they're part of a full display, but I'm not looking for, like, a diorama. I'm just looking for a nice little mount for our... for one of our honey badgers, but it seems like there's no option. Yeah, that's too big for him. That's too big. No. Is it so small that it only fits in, like, a specific little dire... Oh, or maybe one of these. No, that's a bird one. That's a bird one. Oh, maybe here? <sighs> kind of. But not quite. Okay, as nice as the dioramas are, I do have to admit that it would be nice to actually just have, you can set up... An ...individual of the species you'd like without having to have both. I could even have a lion and a honey badger going at it. Yeah, some of the dynamic mounts are interesting, but also would be... Oh, here we go. Ah, we'll do that for both of them. Do that one. And do that one. There we go. So we got a couple more animals in here. Okay, yeah, so that's all that done. I do want to go back into the uh, shop just to check the optics. They're one of the things I know I've made a lot of mention to of, like, it just feels so weird for them. And I still hold that to be true. Okay, that's even weirder. You are given three optic slots, or like three binocular slots, but you only have two that exist in the game to use. So why do you have a third slot? And it's not like you can put a scope in here. You can only select binoculars to fill these gear slots. I'd honestly say make all slots four to nine be any gear you'd like. So you could bring extra collars if you'd like, or you can bring extra binoculars, etc., also, probably change the magnification on binoculars from having, like, different magnifications to them. Like, again, the scope is 4.5 to 14 times. This is only a hard 10 magnification. It just feels a little weird to have these be so hard-coded to something. I do admit 
when it comes to uh, trying to use the monoculars too, a way to, I know it's something the Hunter Classic or the Hunter Call of the Wild have done, as you spot an animal, it like highlights it. So that way you know that's the specific one you're looking at. That would be helpful, especially on, or in a game like Wave the Hunter, where you do have a large, the groups can kind of range for sizes. I think they're at a good amount for what you encounter. But it's just hard to try to pick out each individual to know what the full group is because of how the optics are. You're not entirely sure from too far of a distance what species, or not species, sorry, what gender or age you're looking at for the animals. Certain ones do have certain tells, like the coat color changes through the age of the animal. Those are neat features. But it's also other times where it's not as evident if you are further away viewing them. Uh, one of the things that I know is coming is there's supposed to be or there might be some changes coming to the ammo system for the game. So instead of having things where it's like this is only hunting tier 5 maybe it'll vary a bit more or it'll say something a bit different when it comes to these so it's a little easier to read or there's more range to what species these work for. I do think one of the odd things in the game too, and I like to see changed, is the skill system here. There's only a single lever action weapon in the entire game right now, but it has its own dedicated skill tree like this. I would say put the lever actions into bolt action, just say this is your rifle tree, you don't have a break action shotgun tree, this is just shotguns, and have an archery tree as well, so that way every weapon has some perks you can work up and get. And be honest, I'd kind of like to see a little bit more when it comes to, like, uh, what you gain from it. Like, all these are just more, like, passive things, which I can kind of understand with the rifle. There's not much you can do with them. But when it comes to things like, say, the crossbow or the compound bows, things like you're able to have the compound bow drawn for longer, or you can even try using it when you're fully laying uh, prone with it. Things that actually feel like there's an active unlock to them that you notice more so. Kind of like how the hiker perks were, where it's like you get uh, the little special ability towards the end, where it's like you can either speed yourself up or slow down to help for detection rate like that. I'm trying to think of what else there is. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, these are all pretty much the same. Yeah, so that's the perks there, the taxidermy assistant. No, I actually never even went into this page. The hunting log to show, like, how we've done, which ones we've taxidermied, which ones we haven't. Yeah, inventory-wise, I think I just need more time with the bow, compound bow and all of its optics, or without the optics, get better with that. That's my own lack of experience, rather than, I think, something in the game. Uh, the optics and everything for the rifle and that seem to have been fine. Again, the gear and the collar slots just feel weird to have this as it is right now, especially with not seeing anything. Uh, one thing that might be interesting to have is actually, like, you can buy different clothing for, like, how visible you are, or, like, how much scent you're given off. Something like that can fill a gear slot where you equip that and say you'll be harder to spot a certain range, or against certain species you have, uh, harder to be picked up. Just something to help fill in that little extra slot. Ah, uh, there's supposed to be that filtering coming to the- no, you know what, might as well just buy this last one. There we go, I've got every single site possible. <laughs> Vehicles, I still have to... Yeah, I don't have any of these because you need a lot of money for them. But if you play the game enough and you enjoy it enough, I could easily see you getting enough for all of that. But yeah, when it comes to the weapons again... It's just so weird that you have so many bolt actions, and like the only lever action is literally the first gun you start off with in the game, which is the... Uh, okay, that's DLC... Actually, all the DLC weapons are also bolt ones as well. It's only Grandpa's old rifle, which is your lever action. And then you have the shotguns, although... Again, they're another weird one where they're only hunting tier 1. I'm hoping maybe with the ammo changes that are possibly on the way, they'll change them up so that way you could have, like, birdshot, buckshot, or slugs in them, so they have more use outside of that. But yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I would really say for it. But truth be told, Wave Hunter is still probably one of the more polished, and I still rank it over the Hunter's two hunting games for myself. Like, it does, I do like the dynamic, well, I shouldn't say dynamic difficulty, but the scaling difficulty if you're finding the game 
too difficult in some ways. You can ease up on certain things or give yourself more aid with, like, the hunter sense. Or if you want more of a challenge, you can ramp it up in other ways, too. Having the, uh... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that the tracking system has done that I really like. Again, I still would like to see a bit of a single animal active tracking system. It doesn't need to be you have to see all the tracks of every single animal on the map wherever you're, like, gone to. But having a way that we can hone in more and focus on a specific animal would be really nice. More visualization for, like, if you've wounded an animal, so that way it's easier to tell and know uh, which one you've wounded as you're trying to clean up and get that sort of harvested. That'd be helpful. Oh, the vehicle. The UTV, I feel like, needs more of a detection range. It feels like you can almost, like, sneak up on the animals with it. I think it's kind of, like, meant to be you're supposed to be able to get a little closer to the animals than if you were using a full-size jeep or something, but it still feels like it's a little bit too silent, or you're able to sneak up a little too much with it right now. But overall, I'm going to keep an eye on Way of the Hunter. Next year, as we see new DLCs, so I'll definitely be returning to the game to show that off. And yeah, with this series coming to a close, next week we're going to go back in time to a Cabela's Classic, show that off for a while, see what it's like, how it holds up. But overall, Way of the Hunter, my favorite hunting game so far. I know it's more graphically demanding than the Hunter Classic or Call of the Wild, but if you are able to run it, I would highly recommend checking this game out. It's still got a lot of cool stuff to it, and I still will be playing this in my own time, I'm more than sure of. And again, thank you so much for joining me in the series, and if you do have any other comments, tips, tricks, or feedback, be sure to let me know about it in the comments right down below. And until I catch you in the next series, video, or episode, Hunters and Survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy hunting.